So you just bought your first Shure SM7B. And before you touch anything, let me say this very clearly. There is nothing wrong with your SM7B. The mic that you just got is just very honest. It doesn't flatter. It does not exaggerate. It simply tells the truth. And once you understand that, everything clicks, friend. So instead of chasing certain plugins, blaming the microphone, we are going to simply focus on fundamentals because that's how professionals get consistency and that's how you get confidence. So let's dive in. Hey friend, welcome to Mastering Post-Production Sound. My name is Joel. I'm an Emmy-nominated re-recording mixer and industry coach. And so we're talking all things SM7B today. I absolutely love this particular microphone. It did take me some time to get used to it, but what I think you really need to know right away is that this microphone requires a lot of gain, okay? You're going to have to send it that because it is a low output mic. Now, this microphone is different than your large diaphragm condenser microphones, okay? This this microphone is a dynamic, it's a broadcast dynamic microphone, okay? So you're going to have to give it a lot of signal. Now, it's going to be uncomfortable because if you're not used to giving yourself a lot of gain, you might be like, I don't know. I'm telling you, I am, I'm using a Scarlett 2i2 in my preamp. My, my gain is up there. It's, it's cranking, okay? But it's what I need to do to make this mic really feel good, to really start in a good place, okay? So you got to make sure your gain is set. So give it that juice, okay? Go ahead, don't be afraid, okay? Experiment with it. Um, so what we're gonna do is I'm in Pro Tools right now. I'm gonna simply just record some audio so you can kind of get a feel of what you might be dealing with and so you can actually hear the difference here. Okay, so let's just put myself on input. It's gonna go to the top here. I'm gonna hit record. Oh, you know what? I, actually, I love I love motivational quotes, so that's what we're going to read. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. What the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. Okay, so there's just a few things. So there's a few different quotes, okay? I just, lo- uh, just something to speak. And you'd see, okay, we got, we got some pretty good signal there, right? Um, now let's go over here. We're going to take this out of record. Now, the first thing, we're just going to listen to what we have. I, actually, I love I love motivational quotes, so that's what we're going to read. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. What the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. Okay, so that's what we got going on, okay? Now, the first thing we got to do is we got to get on there a simple EQ. So you you choose whatever EQ you use. I'm a fan of the Feb Filter Pro Q. And you could see it's very it's just flat right here. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Okay, and so this is what I'm going to do. And you can copy me, you can start here, but you you're, you're going to notice that with this particular recording i'm going to go ahead and give myself just some bands now what i like about this is i can go anywhere and i can click on a band you know and and bring it up right there but i'm just going to get me myself a seven band eq okay and so let's take a look at that profile again a goal is a dream with a deadline do you see this right here this information years are nothing there's a lot there's a lot of of just information below 50 hertz that i don't really need so i'm going to engage I'm going to cut, I'll have a little low cut here. A goal of around, I don't know, maybe anywhere from 60 to 70 hertz. 70 might be too much. A goal is a dream with a deadline. It's actually not, you know, you could probably even push that a little bit more. What did I say? 70. Um, Yeah, about 70, right? Let's see. There we go. A goal is a dream. There's 94, but you don't have to go that much. A goal is a dream. But you see all this information? It's gone, right? So I'm going to go ahead and also you'll see a couple of things. One of the things that when you start to pump gain, 
into your microphone, you're gonna you're gonna get some hissing, and that's okay, right? And so there's a couple ways we can combat that, but when we'll get to that in a second. But one of the things about this particular microphone, right, is you're gonna see this profile. With, what, uh, this is what I love about the ProQ is it gives you a real time analyzer. You can check it out visually. A goal is a dream with a deadline. and this information right here. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Let's see. With the mind of man can conceive and okay, believe. I'm just gonna raise my. You can see here. A goal is a dream that with stuff. a deadline. A goal. I'm gonna go ahead and just tuck that right there. A goal is a dream. I'm gonna open that up just a little bit. Of the cue. Oops. Widen that. <laughs> what am I doing? There we go. A goal is a dream with something like that. And I could do over here. I like to go get a bell here. A goal is, a, and you, you know, you might have some people that might say, oh, you can boost that. A goal is a, that low end right there, but I don't a like to do that. A goal is a I'm dream go with a deadline. A little bit like. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. With the mind of man can conceive. Okay. A goal is a dream with a deadline. And then what I want to do also is I want to give it a little bit of presence, Okay. Because it's because of the, because of the pattern, the frequency of this particular mic, you're gonna lose a little bit up here. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to, oops, let's go like this. A goal. Give myself a couple. Oops, we don't want that. We want a bell. I want a bell, not a high shelf. Although you could do that, you could do a high shelf if you want. A goal is a dream. Something like that. But I like to work with a little with a bell. I'm gonna. Instead of having a wide cue, I'm going to tighten that up a little bit. A goal is a dream with a deadline. And something like that. Now, if you have a lot of hiss, then I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this high. A goal is a dream with a deadline. And push some of that. Fears are nothing more than a... Okay, so that's not that's not bad, right? That's not that's a great place for my particular voice to start. Now, now, you might be lacking some warmth, and you could... A goal is a dream with a deadline. You could give yourself some low end. A goal is a dream with a... If you want, right? You know, just it just depends on your particular register, timbre of your voice, okay? So let's go ahead and we're going to A, B this, just this loop, this line. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. A bypass. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Fears are nothing more than a state it. of mind. Fears are nothing more than a state yeah. of mind. So I hear that low end right there. So I might that might be too much. So maybe I can just tuck it a little bit. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Okay. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Okay, so you know, there you go. So that's a that's a that's a very simple EQ move that you can make for this particular microphone, okay? Now, the next thing I want to do is I want to add a little bit of compression and a compressor. Now, you can go ahead and use anything that you have. Um, we could try this a couple different ways. We can use the Pro Compressor here. Yeah, here we go. And... You know, I have a couple of presets, you know, um, for instance, here's a, a, a broadcast male, right? And then I have female, you know, and, and let's just take a listen to what that does right here. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind, okay? Uh, and then if we want, what we can do is we can adjust from there, okay? So I can kind of maybe bring that threshold down even more. Fears, I am like, I can go three to, three to one. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Right. And if I wanted to, what I could do is I can give myself a little bit of a bump here. Like maybe make up any anyway, 3 to 6 dB. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Fears are nothing more okay. than a state of mind. So, so that is just a very simple compressor, right? It, it it, it, it definitely kind of brings a little bit of that forward, your, your voice forward. So, again, this is, this is with it and then without. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Mm. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Okay, so already we're sounding much more present a lot closer to, toward that like podcast professional sound. 
Um, and you can tweak with it a little bit. You can adjust as you want. You know, you can Fears. mess around with the threshold. Um, a goal is see. a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. So you can even go to like a minus 30 or something like that. Um, but just, you know, use your ears. See what sounds good. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Okay. Now, the other thing, now that's kind of like just, that's just right there. Now, if, if we take both of these out, a goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Now, let's bring it in again. Oops. Let's minimize that. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. What the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. A goal is a dream with a deadline. Fears are nothing more than Let's a state of mind. What the mind of man can conceive and believe it can achieve. Okay, so that's not bad. Right. And let's just out of, you know, because this is just me talking about four to six inches. You know, we have some pretty decent game. If you got super close to the mic. Right. Let's record that real fast. Let's just get let's just do this. Let's go. Um, uh, let's we'll continue with some more quotes here. <laughs> um, here we go. The ultimate reason. Actually, what I wanted to do is want to get super close. The ultimate reason for getting. Rather, one more time, let's just try this all over. The ultimate reason for setting goals is to entice you to become the person it takes to achieve them. The major reason for setting a goal is for what it makes of you to accomplish it. What it makes of you will always be the far greater value than what you get. Okay, so that is like super, super, super close, you know, um, radio voice, you know, um, Wolfman Jack kind of, uh, <laughs> kind of uh, approach. Let's hear what this sounds like now. That's going to probably change our EQ a little bit because we are so much closer in proximity. So let's take a look and bypass the, the uh, compressor. Let's bypass this. Let's just loop this part. The major reason for setting a goal is for what okay, it makes of it in you now. to accomplish it. The major reason for setting a goal is for what it makes okay. of you to accomplish it. So I can hear the low end taking out a little bit. So let me emphasize that a little bit. The major reason for setting a goal oh, wow. is for what it makes of you to accomplish it. Wow. Okay. Interesting. So now let's bring in that compressor. Okay. Let's bring that in and see what that sounds like. The major reason for setting a goal is for what it makes of you to accomplish it. What it makes of you will always be the major reason for... Okay, okay, that's not bad, right? That is not bad. Um, that's kind of cool. So you see that it doesn't really take a lot for you to get this mic really sounding professional and really sounding like broadcast ready, whether you're um, you know, podcaster, you're starting a podcast for the first time, or you're an editor working with a podcast team. Uh, maybe you have a YouTube channel like, like this channel. It, it, it's a wonderful mic to use. You just got to know how to treat it properly to actually get the best out of it. Okay. Now I did have the, the thought of adding one more plug and just trying something to go a little crazy here. Um, let's hear the difference if we put something like a multiband compressor in there. So let's let's see. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go, I'm going to put this here and I'm going to add a pro, oh, pro multiband dynamic. Okay. Now, something like this with a setting like, um, let's go with this low-cost mic enhancer. Okay, this is going to sound different. Ready? Here we go. Fears are nothing more than a state of mind. Now, that really is, <laughs> that's like super radio broadcast, right? That's like way, way, way over the top. Now, let's let's listen to this, this recording over here. The ultimate reason for getting 
rather one more time, let's just start this all over. The ultimate reason for setting goals is to entice you to become the person it takes to achieve them. Okay, so that is like super way, way. And you can, you know, you could adjust that. You know, we can get them um, here. The major reason for setting a goal. Anyways, that's probably not the approach that would take. But, you know, just for you to get the idea that... There are all different kinds of settings that you can use. You know, let's just let's just take that away and get back to where we were. Getting here. rather one more time. Let's just try this a little. The major reason for setting a goal is for what it makes of you to accomplish it. Okay, I I I, I kind of like that. I'm gonna go with that. And so, if you are new to this particular microphone and you're looking just to get this set up right away, and and not blame the microphone because I know I've heard it. You know, it's like, oh, this mic is... Uh, no, it's just simply people don't know how to use it right now. Um, not right now, but I'm just saying in general, right? So I hope this video helps in the sense that it demystifies a little bit of that, you know, behind this particular mic. This is a fantastic microphone. This is a reason why you see a lot of people using it and they have been using it for years. Well, friend, that's all the time we have for this week's episode. I want to take a moment to thank you, especially all those who are new to the channel. I think like something like 56% of the viewers that we get on this channel are not subscribed to the channel. So friend, can you do me a favor? Can you give this video a thumbs up? It really tells YouTube to send videos like this to people like you, to more people. So let's get the word out there and consider clicking that subscribe button so you do not miss any video. Friend, this is a video about a microphone, but friend, we talk about all things post-production sound, and it's not always all about EQ and panning and mixing, things like that. Friend, navigating the industry can be extremely lonely. But here at Mastering Post-Production Sound, we are all about building your confidence, clarity, empowering you to not only navigate, but to believe and thrive in the post-production sound industry. If that's what you're looking for, friend, you have found it here. Welcome home. All right, friends, I will see you in one of the videos over here in the side or in next week's episode.